Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Refuel devotional. My name is Jason Kane, and today I get to share with you something that I noticed in the Gospel of Mark about the life of Jesus that I think all of us should adopt in our lives. Jesus's ability to show compassion to people at any moment in time is remarkable. Think about your life. When is it most easy for you to be kind to other people? For me, it's most easy for me to be kind to other people when I've had a good night's rest, when I've had a great meal, when things are going well in my family, when things are perfect, when my kids are obedient. It is easy for me to show compassion. As a matter of fact, I think we probably all can show compassion when things are going well in our lives. But Jesus in Mark chapter six shows us how we can show compassion even when things in our life are not per are not perfect. And here's the reality. Things in our lives typically are not perfect. In Mark chapter number six, Jesus has just lost his cousin, John the Baptist, who has been beheaded by the horrible leader of that time. We're told in Mark chapter six that Jesus wants to get away to a place to eat and to grieve with his disciples. So they get on a boat, they travel away, and when they arrive at their destination on the shore waiting for them are crowds of people. Jesus wants to get away to grieve, to have a little meal, only to have a crowd of people surround him and want something for him. Remember, this is not the ideal time for Jesus to deal with crowds because he has just lost his cousin. But listen to what we read in Mark chapter six, verse 34. It says, when Jesus landed, when he landed on the shore, he saw a large crowd. And what was his response? He had compassion on them. Why did he have compassion on them? Because they were like sheep without a shepherd. In one of the most heartbreaking times in the life of Jesus, he sees a crowd of people and he has compassion on them. Church, I believe our responsibility and our duty is to demonstrate the love of Jesus everywhere we go. And that means we will have to have compassion on people even when things aren't the most opportune in our own lives. How do we do this? I think Jesus gives us a very critical and key way to do this. It's very simple, it's very plain. It says when he saw the large crowd, he had compassion on it, my, on them. My question for you this morning is, how do you see the crowd of people that surround our world? As a matter of fact, do you see them at all? Jesus demonstrates to us that the people around us are not a distraction to our lives, but an opportunity for us to display compassion to them when we see them. This morning, my challenge to you is to see people, not as a distraction, but see them as people who are in need of compassion. This passage says that Jesus sees them and he sees something about them that makes him have compassion. What does he see about them? That they are like sheep without a shepherd. What are sheep without a shepherd? Sheep without a shepherd wander. They don't have food. They are subject to disease. They're subject to follow or get lost in life. Why? Because they don't have a shepherd. When Jesus sees the crowd, he sees them with compassion because he understands that without a shepherd, of course their lives are gonna be in disarray, disordered, and be disheveled because they do not have a shepherd. Our responsibility in life is to see people and not condemn them or get upset by them, but to see them and have compassion on them. Jesus, when he has an opportunity to do something with a crowd of people, what does he do? He has compassion on them. Church, I believe that in today's world, our responsibility is to show compassion to those who are around us, to show care and concern to those who God brings in our way. Why? Because they're like sheep without a shepherd. Of course, the world looks the way it looks because they are not being guided by the good shepherd that you and I know who is Jesus Christ. This morning, when you leave your house, see people as Jesus saw them, as sheep without a shepherd, and you, then you'll be able to love them as Jesus loved them with his whole heart in a sacrificial way so that they could come to saving faith in Jesus Christ. Let's see like Jesus and let's show compassion like Jesus. Have a wonderful day.